Hey guys, good morning. Greg from Snatchbox. I want to uh, introduce some chin guards to you guys today and uh, explain to you why I wear these and what makes them uh, beneficial. And maybe you guys, uh, if you're going to be looking at purchasing uh, shin guards for whether you're rope climbing or box jumping, you can make an informed decision on which ones to get. So uh, about a month ago, I put a rope climb in the back of my house. And actually, it's a rope climb in rings. Uh, and I was starting to get chafed in the, in the lower uh, ankle area real bad from the rope climbing up coming. We were doing sets of uh, 10, we were doing sets of 5 and sets of 10. So I started researching rock guards or uh, guards for your, your shins and I came down to uh, two products, the rock guards and the, the unbroken uh, shin guards and I ended up choosing the unbroken shin guards just for, for the fact that they had a hard uh, shin guard option and I'll go through that with you. Uh, so about maybe you know between the rope climbs bothering my shins and my niece getting hurt on one of my box uh, boxes about two months ago uh, she split her shin open she needed four stitches and I'm going to post a uh, picture of that. It was obvious that having these, uh, having this piece of equipment is, although not mandatory, I would say recommended. So yesterday I was doing uh, the final competition of the pocket wad. I joined the competition about a month ago. It was five different wads for four weeks. And yesterday we had to do uh, 30 box jumps at 24 inches after doing 50 wall balls with a 20 pound wall ball, uh, 40 deadlifts with 115 pounds, and then you had to jump into 30 box jumps, and it was for time. So about halfway through, I slipped and smashed my shin. <gasps> on the same box that my niece ripped their shin open on a few months ago. And sure enough, I had my unbroken shin guards on with the plastic uh, protector inside it and it saved me, saved my ass. My shin is bruised today, uh, it hurts, but I would have definitely ripped it open. And so I'm gonna post a video for you to, to look at, but I highly recommend either getting these or getting a version of uh, some type of protection for your shins if you're gonna do box jumps whether it be on a wooden box or uh, whether it be on uh, a metal box like I have. I actually have both, but I was on a metal box. So without further ado, I ended up buying the unbroken shin guard. I'm gonna go through it with you. I'm gonna go tell you a little bit about what, what I like about it. Uh, I'll tell you, they don't have a, a huge product line, but what they do have, they, they put a lot of uh, time and money into uh, their product line. So it is a quality product. It's it's reasonably priced and uh, I highly recommend it. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not sponsored by anybody, but I'm not sponsored by them. They're not paying me uh, to give you this review. I just like reviews. I like to give you a little bit of information that, that uh, my opinion on certain things and a lot of these things I'm giving you uh, information on. There's, they're not on YouTube, so I might be the only review uh, of these uh, shin guards on, on YouTube. So maybe help you make an informed decision. Uh, at the end of the day, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. I'm trying to grow my channel. Uh, I've got a handful of subscribers now, but your, your subscription to my channel is uh, valuable to me. It shows that I'm doing the right thing and it's, it, and, and it's worthwhile. Uh, like the video if you like it and comment. I try to reply to all the comments uh, that come in. But without further ado, let me tell you a little bit about these.
So these are, this is a size large, large X large. I'm uh, five foot 11 and a half, 200 pounds, 197 right now. And they fit really nice. I'll try them on for you so you can see. But they have a thick foam uh, that goes in front. So you don't necessarily have to wear the hard guard with it. And I'll show you what this is. But you could just put the sleeve on over your shin. It's got a stirrup that's elastic. It's sewn in and it fits relatively tight around your, uh, around your ankle area. What I like about these is the quality of these. You can see underneath, they've got a band of uh, what would be considered gel glued in at the top. So this prevents the sliding of the, uh, of the guard down your leg. I like that a lot and they do fit snug. The back is a thinner uh, material, like a neoprene material. Completely washable. They got a logo here, unbroken. Kind of cool. And then the, the inserts, if you want to, if you want to uh, use these as well, these is this is an option. They're hard inserts, they're tiny, they go right around your, your uh, shin. They say seven millimeters. This is one size for everybody. I bought a set for myself and a set for my wife and we wear them every time we, uh, we box jump for protection, for good reason too. So as far as the Unbroken product goes, really, really high quality, really durable. Nicely made. I'll try it on, I'll show you. So you can see, fits pretty snug. This here slides in and it can go anywhere from your ankle all the way up to the top. I put it in the middle. Really, really nice product, really comfortable. Highly recommend them. Again, guys, hopefully this helps. Uh, I'm gonna put a little video of my episode the other day that I fell and, and, and you'll see why I wear these. Otherwise, I would have definitely had a trip to the hospital because I took a good fall. But I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you like. I'll talk to you soon. See you again soon. Bye.